Cindy Drozda Instructional Wood Turning DVDs presents Preparing a Finial Blank with the Spindle Roughing Gouge. This film is an excerpt from my DVD Finial Star. You can find information on Finial Star and my other DVDs at my website, cindydrozda.com. I hope you enjoy this short wood turning lesson. Thanks for watching. My favorite way to find the center on the end of a piece of wood is to mark all four corners with the center finder. That leaves a little square on the end of the blank and it's very easy to find the center of that with an awl. The awl mark locates the tailstock point. On the headstock end, the blank is gripped between the jaw slides. That's a good way to grip a blank that's too small for the jaws and the chuck. It's always a good idea to turn the lathe by hand before starting it up, just to make sure the blank clears the tool rest. To make my square blank round, I'm using a spindle roughing gouge and a bevel rubbing cut. Notice that I need to take a little step to my left to keep my body from getting in the way. I can also cut with the spindle roughing gouge by moving the tool side to side going in either direction. With my arms close into my body, I shift my weight side to side to make the cut. To make that bevel rubbing cut, I contact the heel of the bevel and raise the handle of the tool until the edge is cutting, but only until the edge is just cutting. If I raise the handle more than I need to, the edge is scraping. Scraping will dull the edge quickly and I won't get a very clean cut. With the English Badan, I'll use a peeling cut to make a chucking point, rolling the tool onto the corner so that I can undercut the shoulder of the tenon. That undercut tenon shoulder bears against the jaws, giving me a very secure holding in this chuck. The lathe speed for this one inch diameter piece of wood is between two and three thousand RPM. I'm facing the machine, my arms are held close to my sides, and I'm shifting my weight side to side. 